Hi, this is Doug with Nas Solar Electric. Today we're going to show you an actual LG Home 8 ESS installation and we're going to go over some of the features and benefits of that system. So this customer already had an installed Enphase solar system and they wanted to add a battery for backup when the grid goes down also to help offset time of use charges. So let's go inside and see how it's done. So what we're gonna do right now is install the battery uh, inverter module on the wall. What we've done is removed all of the battery, individual battery modules to make the cabinet easier and lighter weight for ease of installation. Once the cabinet is installed, we're gonna reinstall the battery modules, uh, get that all wired up, and then proceed on to the rest of the AC wiring procedure. So we've chosen to mount the battery in the customer's garage. Uh, number one, for uh, climate reasons, uh, the Denver gets below freezing in this garage, which is important for this battery system. So uh, it'll operate more effectively in that type of environment. And it also just happened to work out sort of conveniently for the AC wiring to the main service panel. So what, what we're showing here is how the support brackets for the battery cabinet are mounted on the wall. What we've done is marked the studs in the wall. We're gonna screw the bracket directly into those studs for support. The battery uh, cabinet is floor mounted with wall support. So this is just to keep the battery from pulling away from the wall. All the weight is supported by the floor. There is a template that's included uh, with the system to help you mark out this pattern on the wall once you find the studs and get these mounted. Um, once the cabinet's mounted on the wall, we'll reinstall the battery modules and then finish the rest of the wiring. So I've got Logan here to help today. Um, now that we have the batteries removed, we're going to lift the battery cabinet and set it onto the wall brackets. Then we'll adjust the leveling feet on the bottom for full support, and then we'll continue with the wiring. So now that we have the battery cabinet mounted and supported on the wall brackets, we're gonna go ahead and install the battery modules, wire those up with communications and DC cabling, and then we'll continue with the rest of the wiring. Now that Logan has installed the battery modules in the cabinet, we're going to wire up the DC and the battery module communications harnesses. Now that the battery cabinet is Installed properly, we've run our conduit for our AC feeder circuit from the rest of the equipment. We're going to wire up our AC circuits and our communication line. Okay, so we're outside at the customer's main service panel. Um, originally, this was the only panel at this installation. As part of the ESS installation, this of course is the smart energy box that's part of the LG ESS. We installed a separate backup loads panel. This will be what powers the backup circuits when the grid is down and also provides energy for those same circuits uh, when the grid is up. So wh whether it's up or down, power is always flowing through this sub panel that we installed as part of the system. What we've done is moved the circuits that we want to back up from the main service panel. We've rewired them into the new sub panel or backup loads panel. And then we've also run a feeder circuit 
from the LG ESS that provides power to this panel. So since we're not doing a whole home backup at this installation, what we are backing up is these two circuits. This is for the customer's heat pump system. We've got a couple of bedrooms powered. We've got the kitchen and living room circuits that also powers their internet connection and uh, another set of lights in one of the bedrooms. So we've also wired in the customer's Enphase solar system into here just for the convenience of uh, getting that circuit to the ESS. We also have the two circuits for the customer's heat pump system. So again, this is the customer's main service panel. Any circuit in this panel will not have power when the grid goes down. What is powered when the grid uh, is down and we're in backup is the sub panel that we installed. Okay, we're outside at the smart energy box that's part of the ESS system. Let's take a look inside. What this system does is essentially control the flow of AC power to and from the ESS battery and also to and from the grid and the backup loads panel. This is the main grid connection circuit or feeder. It's protected by a 125 amp breaker. This is the feeder circuit on a breaker from the ESS battery that we installed previously. This is another breaker that is the feeder circuit or output from the existing grid tie solar system. This is the uh, AC output that feeds the sub panel that will power the loads when the grid is down and back up. So this is the uh, touchscreen interface for the ESS system. This is how you configure and uh, control the system uh, displays uh, various aspects of the system, whether we're pulling power from the grid, how much is going to and from the battery. If we have solar coming in, that will be displayed as well. And it does also show uh, loads on the sub panel and what is going back to the grid uh, if we're producing more power than we're using. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is uh, describe the process of uh, how to move a circuit from the main loads panel or the main service panel to the backup loads panel. Uh, in this case, the customer wants to have the ability to use their electric oven uh, in backup and also to uh, reduce their time of use charges. So that's a, the circuit we've identified here, the electrical oven. We're gonna rewire and extend those circuit wires into the, the sub panel. We're gonna then move that breaker over to the sub panel and then wire up the circuit for the final connection. Thanks for watching our LG Home 8 ESS installation video. Uh, we will have more videos in the future on the programming and commissioning of the units, so stay tuned. If you're interested in the LG Home 8 ESS system for your home, give us a call or send us an email. Be sure to check out the resources on our website, subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like these, and thanks for watching.